Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video we're going to show you how you may use our DIY air assist with professional air compressor by Hylia ACO 500. So this is a pretty big machine, it's much bigger than uh, the one we sent, 318, and it has 420 liters a minute. So this is a maximum capacity. So the uh, air assist, uh, air nozzle, you have a small tube here and it's connected to a machine and this is our 10 watt laser that was uh, previously tested and had pretty high uh, value of heat power okay buddies let's start the cutting process okay we install the we're on the machine now okay it consumes a lot of power almost 500 watts so the speed is 150 uh, we use Engraver Master software and we will see how it's cutting. By the way, you can actually see that uh, the laser beam goes directly through uh, even from one pass. So this is regular lens. With G2 lens the result will be much, much bigger, uh, much better. Uh, and the laser heat power is 4,010 4100 so this is pretty powerful diode is installed here by the way we only install tested and high quality Nichia diodes uh, so this is a 10 watt laser and the DIY engraving machine by Alex Maker so uh, yeah this is the second uh, repeat and we'll make it oh, okay you see that it's actually cut it but is let's remove it uh, you, you know that the thickness can be can be different. Okay, show us uh, the results. This. So uh, you can see the edge is very very clean. It's very clean. Okay, let's do a cutting without uh, compressor, so you can see the difference. So our goal was to show you why you need an air compressor. Okay, let's turn it off. Okay, uh, so you'll see the difference between between edges. We'll make uh, also two repeats. Okay. Let's move it here. Okay, so we can start. We, we test and we see the. Uh, laser cutting sector. Okay, let's start. Like we said before in our video guide, how you assemble your uh, DIY air nozzle. That air nozzle allows you to keep uh, clean edges and it reduces charring and makes cutting very, very clean. So we'll, we'll make two passes again. Uh, so this one was the first one and let's make another one. Okay. So that you'll see the difference. And uh, like we said, different types of plywoods could require a different amount of passes. So usually it requires just one, two passes just to make it very, very clean. But the thing is that different lens, different types of plywoods, uh, plywood, different, a uh, little bit different crystals on lasers could give you a bit different result. Okay, let's mo remove it and show the result. So it didn't cut uh, at all with two passes. Actually it did, but uh, and you see the, the quality, okay? So the quality is, is uh, you see a lot of charring dust and smoke on this piece of plywood. So this is three millimeter plywood and you can see the difference. So this is uh, how you can improve your laser cutting, make it clean and neat with an endurance air uh, nozzle and a uh, powerful Halia uh, air compressor. Hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends and have a wonderful laser cutting with endurance lasers. Bye bye.